This is Carl, a design engineer here at AgriFab. He's going to help us replace the gearbox on our 130 pound tow spreader. The only tools you'll need for this repair is a pair of pliers, a 7 16th inch wrench, and a half inch wrench. During this video, we'll be referencing lefts and rights as if you were looking at the logo of the spreader while it is upside down being repaired. The first thing we want to do is remove the agitator pin from the bottom of the hopper. This spreader has a gearbox cover, so let's remove the three pins holding it in place and set it aside for reassembly. Take note of the orientation of the gearbox. Referencing this view, you'll want the gearbox axle pin facing the left. Then remove the pin securing the spreader plate to the gearbox assembly. Our 130 pound spreader has wheel caps holding the wheels to the axle. Taking pliers, carefully remove these caps and metal rings from the left wheel. The replacement kit will have new cap sets for reassembly later. We can then take the wheel, washer, and spacer off of the axle. The right wheel will have a pin securing it to the axle. Take this pin out before removing the wheel cap. Like the other side, we will remove the washer, wheel, and spacer and set them aside. Moving to the left hopper support leg, we'll need to remove the two bolts attaching the support leg to the hopper. Directly above that support leg, we'll remove the bolts attached to the crossbar and hitch tube right below the axle. To the right of the axle, we'll remove the bolts attached to the other side of the crossbar. Optionally, you can also not remove, but loosen the support leg bolt right below the axle as well. Come back to the left side of the toe spreader and slide the hopper support leg off of the axle. We can now pop the gearbox assembly out from the hopper and slide the axle out from the hopper leg. To get to the gearbox, remove the spreader plate and crossbar. Set aside the gearbox pins if you haven't already. During this time, you'll be able to replace the old bushing in the crossbar with a new one. Place the crossbar and spreader plate onto your new gearbox. We can also secure the spreader plate to the gearbox with a new pin. Place the gearbox back into the hopper and slide the axle back into the hopper leg making sure the gearbox pin is facing the left. Slide the left hopper leg back onto the axle, securing the crossbar around the hitch tube and the hopper leg. Move to each side of the crossbar and replace the bolts we removed earlier, loosely screwing them in. We can now attach the left hopper leg back onto the hopper. Once all bolts are in place, we can tighten them all to properly secure the frame. With our frame reassembled, place the gearbox cover back onto the gearbox and secure it with three cover pins. We can now put our washers, spacers, and wheels back on. On the left wheel, we'll fix the wheel cap kits back into place. Slide the metal ring onto the wheel axle and with a soft rubber mallet, tap the plastic caps into place. Replace the axle pin by the right wheel to secure them together and fix the other wheel cap kit to the wheel. Once everything is back into place, put the agitator pin back into the hopper and we're done. 